G'day, we are continuing on with our FlyQuilp Discover the World today. Um, first thing I want to mention is I've, I filmed um, part one, two, and three pretty close together. So part three, no, sorry, part one didn't come out until part three was already made. But the, the one comment that was made a couple of times was that in the settings, they have added the auto spacing of planes, evenly distribute planes on routes automatically. So we should now see that if I say we're to chuck two planes on a line, um, say like this guy, so you can see we've got our one plane right there and I hit him there and we'll say make him the same level. But those two guys are now just going to be sort of right on each other's backs. No, the first time they hit a base, that guy goes, the other guy waits. Bang, they're now evenly distributed. Amazing. That makes life a lot easier for uh, for placements. So thank you to those that, that did point that one out. And I imagine those that were pointed out in uh, part two and three as well as those, those come out as well. Okay, so currently what we're at is we are just trying to gain time uh, and money. So I think our, our current point is that we're wanting to go... Um, about 40, 40 50,000 Pakistan. So we're sort of jumping a few countries there, but that's all right. I'd say that uh, with Pakistan, we can we can chuck a triangle point between Tehran and Tashkent. Again, like as we skip ones, this isn't too bad because it sort of then means that Turkmenistan, Tajikistan and Afghanistan can all sort of just connect to one of the three points closest to them. So uh, definitely all right with that. So, and I tell you what, I do love ah, just being able to go, all right. Uh, I don't love being pulled away, but just being able to go, all right, I want three planes on that. You figure it out. Somalia. And that could probably just bounce into Ethiopia. How many planes we got on that route? Two, but they're big planes. I, I love it. Tell you what, I am living the life of just, I just throw another plane on it. It'll work out where it needs to be. All right, so luckily with Algeria being knocked out, everywhere has a way to work around Algeria. We like to see. Berlin getting hefty and it's partly Moscow. So what planes leaving Berlin for Moscow? Like where is the Moscow traffic going? North? See those planes are, are red as they bounce through. So it looks like our Moscow route is up and over the top. Okay, that's all right. That sort of splits Moscow out from everywhere else. Uh, but obviously rigor is... Um, pummeled with the traffic. Let's give them a see another four seater because I want those guys to thrive. Uh yep, and we'll go a second one. Alright, let's get up to fifty thousand. still try and see that. Let's try and get a goal of 130 uh, minutes. 90 minutes. Not 130 minutes. No, that is 130. It's not an hour 30. Alright, there we go. So, let's go Somalia. All three planes. I don't think that I need to wait as long with you, so I'll go 40,000 to, to bring you in. From Solo to get on in. Getting there. Bran's looking a little bit heavy. 
Okay, let's give them a fourth plane. If you do upgrade all planes on a um uh on a route that has varying levels of plane, they will all upgrade one. It's not gonna upgrade to match each other. If you're curious about that. The UAE is another one that's pretty well positioned for us, so again I reckon 40,000 will be enough for us to, to bring him in. Uh, let's upgrade everyone on that route because he does seem to be struggling a wee bit. No, let's uh let's not take that because we want less passengers and full price. It does feel like um, we've been a little bit lucky in terms of um, not being sent across the Atlantic yet. The second that we have to go across the Atlantic, we can, um, we'll, we'll probably save some money to make sure we can do that properly. But it seems like we're, uh, we, well, we've been lucky so far not having to do it. I'm sure I've just jinxed myself there. I would love if there was a running total that it could be. You want to upgrade all planes away from uh, from level two to level three. How much would it cost me to get rid of all of my level two planes? Those sort of questions. Djibouti. Where is you down in this section? I don't know where Djibouti is. That guy. You are so again. You're just a little one. Probably easily sneak in. And been real lucky with our oh I mean you can see all the little countries that we've got scattered around still that'll be um nice easy time gaining moves Azerbaijan should be another one because he's in here right next to another one of our focus points Forty thousand again for him, I'd say. Let's see, we're getting red planes worth of people heading over to Pakistan. I suppose it is a new one, so maybe as it comes in, everyone gets um, if every um, airport in the world had one person say, "I want to go there." It would be a um. Be a decent haul of people moving. Ivory Coast. So again, I still haven't hit Mali is what I would like as my central point. But I think that Guinea's probably far enough away that we'll use Guinea as our next marker for, for these guys down here. There was a, oh, there was a message in there telling me someone was... Need a thing. Okay, so you're in pretty high demand. So let's get. Well, definitely let's give you some more planes on there. Let's roll you with four. We won't upgrade them again. We'll see how that goes. Give you more planes. I mean, both of you are green, so you probably don't have to stress too much about your shifting. Paris Frankfurt. Give them a third plane. I mean, really, the big money will be made once we do start to sort of fly wildly across the world. Give these guys more planes. I mean, you can have your five, I'd say. Decently long route. I do love, I'd say it is an absolute joy to then just sort of just go, yeah, put three guys on it, and it'll go like, all right, we'll fix that for you. 
Uh, Ivory Coast, I'll go to 50,000, I think. Just to sort of zoom out and see who's unhappy. Like, where have I got a red plane? You've done pretty well as a thousand um, seed airport this whole time. You have. My goodness, some of these are. Did I just sell him? Whoops. We've got some really uh, light on uh, major routes here. Alright, that's our 50,000. There we go, we've hit our 130 minutes. He does sit pretty central to his, um, his area there. So that's um, be nice that all, like these guys here can sort of bounce into him. And as soon as we get Mali, I would like to have these guys all come into that same central point as well. Israel is a nice little easy one to connect in. Uh, so we'll just go 40... Uh, I guess we've got to go 50,000 because it's starting to cost about 40,000 to join in. Lucky too that Russia hasn't continued to spread to like its, uh, its real distant locations. It's 50. Iberia. Here, so it's another easy join. 50,000. Be the norm now, I'd say. See how we do with. Abu Dhabi being a popular spot. We'll give him three planes. You've found yourself in an odd little central point there, haven't you? Give you to the, uh, the country you're from. It'd make the. I realize that now it doesn't much matter because you can, um. You can, like, the planes are just going to automatically put themselves in the right path. But I realized. I did, I did make the comment the other day, like getting which end of a, a path I've gone to and from like where I've dragged from like have if I'm gonna put a new plane on this say um Tehran uh I've picked the weirdest one to try and use as an example for being able to pronounce it Isfahan uh line did I start here and drag up so that if I put a plane if I say new plane it's gonna start here or is it gonna start in Tehran and I realize that if I click on the line there's my answer right there that's the route I did so if I'm gonna put a plane on it's gonna start here because I went from there to there but it doesn't matter anymore now anyway because um we uh we'll let it just figure it out itself all right Liberia just central to both we'll go up it's cheaper is nice and appealing. Niger. A bit more central than I guess it's coming down from Algeria and Libya as opposed to up and across. Uh, 60,000 I guess we'll hold out for there. Now where why are you guys so unhappy? What's your uh, hold up? Karachi. Okay, so you're it's this route here. So let's um really try and bulk you up. And then the other part is down this way. So let's give you two more guys on that one. I feel like there's a problem too that we've got there's nothing between Kiev 
and sort of down. Like to get to um, Tashkent, you'd have to go across and down. How many planes are on that line? Let's sort that out. I realize that they're level fives, so I could have just um, made a mess of this one now. Maybe I'll give them two jets. Oh well. It's, I like things even, so. If you're a long route, enjoy, um, four jets. I do wonder if that changes the amount of people that are going to take that route, if the speeds of the jets actually does does impact decisions, or does impact, like, the calculations of where they go. Absolutely, we want to donate 7,000. We should get that back a couple times over, courtesy of our billionaire. 36,000. There we go, so... So again, it is just those routes out to that Tehran. That was a different one, wasn't it? Let's just upgrade those guys. There was another city that just came in. I had the ding for it. I wasn't paying attention where. And a couple of planes, and let's get Niger on the board. Lovely positioning for that city there. Um, we are going to bounce you straight across to there, and I will give you four planes upgraded. It's a bit of a route that you've gone on. If any of these um, African countries get blocked out for birds or virus, definitely put us in a sticky situation. You gave up pretty quick there. It's satisfying to watch these guys go, wait, we'll wait. Yep. So I don't quite get the route there. There's three guys on the one route. Like, they're not perfectly even. It's like they've built a route with a fifth guy in mind. That there should be a fifth guy right here. That's, um, finishing off that layout. I mean, it doesn't much matter. They're more just perfectly lined up. They're, they're divided. Which is basically the uh, the big thing. Who just came in? Um, so we can bring in Bosnia. Forty-four thousand. Uh, we're definitely now into sixty thousand territory for bringing them in. We are starting to really make a nice, like, our money made is, is definitely picking up the pace. All level 4 planes have been removed from service. Do we want to upgrade them? Well, we have a lot of level 4 planes, so absolutely. I mean, the alternative in saying no is, is disastrous in that scenario. There's Mali. We finally got Mali as a, uh, an option. What city just came in? Out of. Let's treat some of these cities to second planes. These guys have got some decently long routes. I mean, these guys really should just be count connecting into Riga or something, but. All good. It must obviously it's based on the order that I uh, got them. All right. So that side's not handling. This lower lot can now push through. All right, 75,000. So there we go, Mali in. Uh, we will get them to have a sort of cross-section connection. They can go to there, they can go to there. No, we don't want to reduce. We would rather have reduced passengers. We'll send in there too. So should hopefully give everyone a bit more of a central option for 
um, for all of their flights in this area. Got three, I think that guy's only got one, so let's give him three. Long Afghanistan in next. Again, it's one we've already sort of circled, so it's not a bold move. But we are about to start hitting some of the major ones uh, this way. We are going to see Afghanistan, not Afghanistan, sorry, India, China are both right on the verge. It's Mali, isn't it? Yeah, more than fair that it's uh, happy. All right, Kabul, let's get you three planes. We'll get this guy, greet you with three planes. We've got Yemen in next, which is down here. So I sort of uh, circled, but I mean, a bit of a distance to any one of these three options that he's got. Might consider connecting them all three to allow him to be a pass-through point, although I suppose those two are already connected, aren't they? So. He doesn't really need to be that uh that guy. Saw that guy flick yellow, so we'll give him a second plane. See Frankfurt's still a little bit uneasy there. Give our Munich routes a uh, second plane each. Another city somewhere just then too. Not sure where he's show, showing up. Amsterdam. Is that one plane on that route? Where do you want to go? Just up there. Money to bring in Yemen. Well, based on the price, we'll uh, send you down that way. Somaliland. So we're at 60,000 now for the, the cost of the territory unlock. So, this is definitely the point where now it would be great to get the United States or get Brazil. Okay. Poznan. Now, I don't know where Poznan is, but I just need to make sure because I have no idea where it is. There we are. It's a trick I remember that you can click on that and it'll take you to the city affected. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure that when a city's knocked out that it's not one that's a, a load-bearing city. Our standard will be three planes on a route as we bring them in. Wait. Yeah, if we could get across to Brazil, because Brazil from uh, Camp, uh, Cape Verde would be uh, quite good. I've been learning Spanish. Verde is green. Cape. I don't know, it's probably Cape. Green Cape. Or across to the US, but it would be nice to get Iceland, Greenland, sort of that actual bounce around route to get over that way. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to buy one when I've got too little money. That if something else disastrous happens, I can't cover it. That's sort of the concern. In Italy, okay. Let's slow things down. 
give them their thing and let's just have a quick look. Is there anywhere that relies on Italy? I don't think there is. I think you can successfully just route around Italy. See, these guys are crammed full at the moment. It's, it's got Frankfurt West sort of. Uh, Pyro is our current offender. Have you just suddenly been hit with a load you haven't you're not used to? Oh, there's definitely a bunch of guys going that way that catch him by surprise. Barcelona. That looks like a single plane on that route. You can see as we send them, they all go red. It suggests that there is a fair bit of traffic that needs to get shifted. That way, I suppose, again, it's possibly what's swinging around. Traffic that otherwise wouldn't have gone that way. Guitar. So another one that's nice and small and short connection. Well, we've successfully upped our uh, amount of time that we've got on the clock here. We are still winning in that regard. And we, but we have also gotten a lot of the smaller countries that we had around that were going to be our ones that would gain us time. And that being said, that we now have a lot more money that we are uh, we need for these openings. I can't believe that Istanbul's been a fifty population thing this whole time operating off one plane. Bravo. Right, there we go. Boa in the mix. In a Faso, which is down here. So again, hopefully it's... It doesn't seem like there's too much north in here, so I would imagine that its capital is going to be in the southern half of the, the country. We need at least 80,000 to, uh, to bring him in. The red plane still shifting around here. Suddenly, huge load of guys going south. Whoa. Port Sudan. There you are. Play a completely different feel to the, doing this as like the um, all countries mode where you're just sort of churning out as many cities as you can uh, you can possibly squeeze into the map. It's just about to be able to open this guy. That's closer than that is. Well, it's at least cheaper. Alright, we'll go cheaper. And those guys, those uh, jets there, I guess it's fine as a foursome. There's no, like, no one's even getting yellow amongst them, so there's they're not any more demand than what they can handle. Well, here we go, we've got a big one coming in, India. So, we probably do want multiple routes into India. We don't want to force everyone to come through the same um, the same way. I missed whatever city just joined us. You know, I also reckon this game could have like a, a side 
thing telling you like when you've got cities that aren't connected to anything. Like just a small exclamation mark that says Tehran. And you can click on it to see where that city is uh, and address the problem. So let's um let's bulk up this route. And that route. And that will be it. So the next time that we come in, we've got a hundred thousand dollars, and uh, we will spend it on on bringing in India. But until then, that is a look at the whole map of what we've un unlocked so far. Any questions or comments, feel free to check them below. And until next time, catch you later. See ya.